Hey, it's Shelby, and welcome to this YouTube video about Twilight, the book Twilight. Today we will meet a bunch of main characters of the first book in the Twilight Saga series. Um, you will meet a lot of main characters, and basically this book is about vampires, werewolves, and a girl who desperately wants to be a vampire. Let's meet the first main character. Alright, let's meet main characters. Yay! First, we will meet Bella Swan, or as you well know her, Isabella Swan. Isabella Swan is the main character in the series Twilight. Um, Isabella is very desperate for love, and she more moves to Forks and falls in love with a guy named Edward. Edward, Edward is a super important main character. Edward and Bella desperately fall in love, but the problem is Edward is a vampire, and Edward desperately wants to suck Bella's blood, because you know, that's what vampires do. Sadly, Edward tries to restrain himself, but isn't able to. Bella and Edward fall in love, and then they meet the next main character, who is a huge problem in this relationship. That person is Jacob. Jacob. Jacob is a extremely angry person. Jacob is a werewolf, but Bella doesn't know that yet. The problem is, is that Edward is a vampire and Jacob is a werewolf, making them extreme en enemies. So the problem is with this is that Bella has to choose whether she wants to be friends with Jacob or boyfriend and girlfriend with Edward. So the problem in this situation is she chooses Edward. Now, some people might say that's a problem. Some people might say it's a good thing. I say it's a good thing, but Here's the problem to the situation. And boom, Victoria. She is a evil vampire who tries to suck Bella's blood. She is desperately out there to kill Bella because of the fact that Bella and Edward, well, Edward mainly, killed her mate, James. Now, the problem with this is that Charlie, Bella's dad, who I will be telling you about in a few seconds, is trying to find Victoria and hunt her down because of the fact that she's killing people all over the place. So, what we need to find out is how will we stop Victoria and how does this amazing book end? Well, I will tell you this. Charlie ends up not being able to find Victoria, but Edward and Victoria and Bella, the, it goes on the whole movies, like all throughout the movie series, and so, and through the book series. So, the problem with this is Victoria is a main threat. Now, what we have to do is figure out how to stop this, but that will be explained if you read the book. And next we have our last and final main character, Charlie, or Chief Swan. He is Charlie's, he is Bella's dad. So, what we have to do here is Charlie is on the hunt for fi finding this creature, or aka Victoria, who is killing thousands of people. So, if you keep reading the book, you will find out much more about this. I hope you enjoyed this part. And now we will move on to the research part. Well, for the research part of this video, we will be finding out how do you know if you are a vampire or not. So, I have researched and looked up so many ways to find out if you are a vampire, and what I've come up with is this. Number one, is your skin pale? Is it sort of like the color of snow? Is it sort of like cold when it's touched? Is your skin cold? That is the first symptom of being a vampire. Well, the first two. The first one is a pale skin. The second one is eye changing colors. So your eyes change colors, red when you're mad, and different colors when you're in love. The third symptom is very cold skin. So if somebody shakes your hand and your skin is ice cold, that is another symptom of being a vampire. Another symptom of being a vampire would have to be your urge to, whenever you see blood, to, well, devour it or devour anything that has blood in it. Um, you do not have a moving heartbeat. You, you you do not blink, and your eyes, like, they, they can, you can read people's minds with them. Um, those are the main symptoms on how, if you know you're a vampire or not. I am not sure, like, what the whole deal with that is, but I would look out if you had those symptoms, because you might one day end up being like Edward. Uh-oh. Well, 
this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will be citing all my sources in the next part of the video. Thank you.